Welcome back. Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone's having a great Tuesday out there. Well, today I decided that uh, we're going to rip four of these Star 1989 Minor League packs. I do have some oddball boxes sitting off screen to the back of the, the cards there. Excuse me. And decided I was just kind of thumbing through them and wanted to hit some Minor League cards. So, don't know if anybody's opened any of these. I don't... I know a few of the players that are in them, but we'll go ahead and open these and show everybody what we have here. This is the second series from 1989. Not sure how many series in total there are each year, but we'll lift this little flap up here so you can read this little, uh, the players that in Series 2 were chosen for more than 1,425 minor league players representing over 55 teams licensed to star. So there it does have the minor league baseball, or actually the major league baseball, uh, rights and such, so anyway, let's go ahead and rip a few of these packs open, see who we can pull, maybe a few stars in here that you're familiar with, a few, uh, maybe some people that are local to your area, so we start with Eric Jacques, not familiar with him, maybe some of you guys may have heard of him, some of these may be good for through the mail or whatever, Doug Piott, and you'll notice that, like, uh, Watertown, obviously Watertown Indians, probably a Cleveland team, not sure, double-A, triple-A, whatever. We'll just go through a few of these. Wes Chamberlain, I've heard of Wes Chamberlain. I can't remember who he ended up playing for, but the name does ring a bell. We'll go through a few more. Pedro Munoz, Knoxville, probably, it looks like, obviously, a Blue Jays. Just interesting to see all these other smaller towns represented on cards. Luis Mercedes, Mercedes, Mike Campus. Of course, there's no inserts in these. And that was the last card. Didn't see how many cards were actually in that pack. Maybe about 10. I didn't even look yet. 10, 10 cards in pack. So we'll go ahead and run to pack number two here. I thought this was just something a little different. Maybe you guys would like. Obviously, this is during the height of the junk wax era. I wouldn't actually call this junk wax, but it's not premier either. Just kind of a hybrid of in between. Mark Willoughby, I guess that's how he pronounces his name. Chris Butterfield. Okay, well. I guess he just, he, he drew his letters out, uh, is that Orsag? I thought that was Drusag, but I guess it's Jim Orsag. Went up, Phil Plantier, or Phil Plantier, not exactly sure how you pronounce that. Ben McDonald, he was a, a, a rising prospect there in the 1990 sets. Everybody liked getting his cards. We have a few other players here, obviously a few of these I've never heard of. Maybe these guys played a few years in the minor leagues and then maybe just went on to coaching baseball at a high school or a, a small college or what have you when their major league careers or even minor league careers didn't pan out. We'll go to pack three of four today. be kind of interesting to, to you know find out where these folks are nowadays, the ones that didn't make it. Julian Jan, Dan Welch. When we had just Pedro Munoz a few minutes ago, Jeff Fry. One thing that I, I learned opening these cards off camera a couple years ago is there was quite a bit of repeats in the set. Let's see, there we go. We got Phil Plantier again, or Plantier. Mark Cur Matt Current, apologize for that. Brett Heffernan and Brett Merriman. And that one felt like it had a rippled corner on it. There you can see the bottom left corner. There's just got a slight crease in it. Final pack of the day. Like I said, this was just a little something different. I didn't really have any set reviews planned. Didn't have any any other packs that I wanted to open. I wanted to give us some breathing room with the 89 Donruss. As we just went through a bunch of those recently. Ken Lewis starts off our final pack. Troy Neal, there we go, Pete Rose Jr., I knew this guy was in the set, we all know who his dad is, hopefully Pete Sr. will get in the Hall of Fame someday, Mark Lewis, Jim Hivizzi, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just leave it there, Randy Berlin, 
Phil Plantier for the third time this morning. Three out of four packs had him. Carlos Mota. Mickey Pina. And our final card of the day, Luis Mercedes again. So definitely a few names in there that I'm sure you guys have heard of, and probably a lot of them that you have not heard of. And like I say, it's interesting to see all the different the towns and cities that are represented by the minor league teams back in 1989. Of course, some of those have changed locations, changed affiliations with their minor league teams, or even just dropped out of the minor league network and went independent or what, whatever, whatever the case may be with their teams. But at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed this little change of pace of video today. It's still cards, it's still baseball, but it is minor league and not, not major league. So once again, appreciate the subscriptions, appreciate the likes, the comments, etc etc it all helps us build our channel here and that's uh that's what we want to do we want to get to that 500 sub mark so we can do another giveaway so i uh, appreciate you guys watching hope you enjoy the rest of your tuesday and we'll be back later this evening to open a football repack box thanks for watching